Hi fellow camera geeks, Harv here and welcome back. I'm a Final Cut Pro user. I have used DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro before and both have their merits, they're, they're both awesome. But I always keep coming back to Final Cut because nothing compares when it comes to workflow speed and efficiency, for me anyway. However, it's obvious to see that there are a few features that are missing from it that would be handy. So, here are my top features I wish Final Cut Pro had. As ever, I really want to hear what you wish it had, so be sure to get them down in the comment section below. And you never know, Apple might see this and grant all of our wishes. It's not, not gonna happen, is it? If you like that track, you can get it own it yourself and use it on your footage. It's part of my royalty-free music packs and they're linked below, check that out. Now, let's dive in. The first plugin I wish Final Cut Pro had is a proper motion blur function. On some cameras you may notice a little bit of tearing when the objects move from one side of the frame to the other, and that is just your camera sensor doing its thing. And a tiny bit of motion blur would just help to smooth things out just a little bit. The other use for it of course is when you shoot in a higher than normal frame rate and you want to play at a normal speed and it looks a bit too real. A proper motion blur plugin can give the perception of it being in a normal frame rate. Final Cut does have a couple of plugins that you might think would help with this. Don't be fooled, they're actually not all that great. Uh, this first one is called Trails and it just adds a kind of ghost image and here you can see a really extreme example. The other one is called Directional and don't be fooled again, it's a blur. It adds blur to the entire image. Obviously it has many uses but it's not that kind of intelligent adaptive motion blur that we're looking for. Here's an example of it being used subtly, it's not too bad, and here's the extreme version. The best solution for Final Cut if you need that kind of motion blur is the Real Smart Motion Blur plugin from Revision FX. It is top quality software and it is priced that way, but honestly it's the only one that comes close to what Adobe can offer. They're not a sponsor, it's just good software. Once again, here's the high frame rate clip without any plugins, and then with just 10 seconds of tweaking, I got to this effect, and it's very, very convincing. The second feature I wish Final Cut Pro had is actually a feature from Adobe Lightroom, and it's the clarity function. Can you imagine if you had that control that you get with the clarity fader? The clarity fader is a great way of controlling that kind of micro contrast. It almost seems like it adds sharpening as well, which I know it doesn't. The point is, it has a really unique effect on your contrast. And I would just love to have this same effect on my footage, particularly filming in black and white and situations that need that kind of lovely grit. I like having control of my widescreen bars. I like going from none, fading into a nice 2.35 to 1 ratio for that kind of more cinematic look. Sadly, in Final Cut Pro, this is something that you have to kind of come up with a workaround for because you can't just go from no widescreen bars and then fade into having whatever you want. In this example, I had to have an adjustment layer that overlapped two clips and then add the letterbox plug into that adjustment layer. I had to set the aspect ratio at 1.78 to 1 and then keyframe the border size from its lowest point to its highest point, which really annoyingly means that it went from just a slither of border at the top of the bottom to not quite as much as I would like. It's just frustrating. Here it is one more time so you can just see what's going on, but come on Apple, let's just have a plugin that will let me automate from no borders to 2.35 to 1. It's not difficult, let's just do this, come on. How have we had so many versions of Final Cut Pro and we still don't have an automatic dialogue ducking system? You know what I mean by that? For making YouTube videos. So you put some music underneath, you've got dialogue on top. When you're not talking, the music comes up. When you do talk, the music drops. It's one of those things that frustratingly Adobe Premiere Pro has, Final Cut Pro doesn't, and I can't work out why. It's so simple. Anyway, here's how I do it. Press R on your keyboard to select the region tool and then select the region of your audio track that you want to select. This bit, of course, I need to be louder than the vocals, so I'm gonna drag down each side of this middle clip here. About minus 29 will do it. Drag out the sides so it fades in and fades out. I know it's perfectly simple and doesn't take a lot of work, but imagine I had a video that had lots of dialogue and then lots of clips that just needed music. How much time would it save me if I could just click a button and automate it all? It would be so cool. Final Cut Pro fans, have you ever wondered why Premiere Pro guys get adjustment layers built into that program? And we don't. Oh dear God, it's frustrating. 
I've mentioned this in quite a few videos now. If, you, if you're interested, definitely check out my fast Final Cut Pro tips and my must-have plugins for Final Cut videos, which I'll link below if you're interested. So yes, adjustment layers are not a standard feature in Final Cut, which is really, really annoying. It's a great feature to have. You can just load your effects onto the adjustment layer and it won't affect your footage. It's awesome and amazing. Luckily, it's a widely available free plugin and just Google it, just Google Final Cut Pro adjustment layer, you will find it. That way you can load up a million plugins like I've done here and then realize it looks sh Have you ever noticed just how bad some of the inbuilt transitions are in Final Cut? They look like they've been lifted straight from iMovie, which they probably have. Enjoy this beautiful montage I've put together for you. For a while now, it's been a bugbear of mine that Final Cut doesn't come with any kind of motion tracking features, but Premiere Pro does. Luckily, there are good options if you need this function. These clips you're seeing here are from my must-have plugins video for Final Cut. I definitely recommend you watch it and I'll link it below. But I was able to achieve these examples by using the plugins from Cormelt and they're called Track X and Slice X and they're excellent. They use the Mocha engine, which is actually what's used in Adobe Premiere Pro. These two plugins are not cheap and they are very processor hungry, so be prepared for that. It also takes some getting used to to actually get the most out of this program. As you can see in this example, I had to use a really intricate pattern to actually detect the movement of my phone. So Apple, please can we have motion tracking? But can you do it in your style? Can we have it easy to use but works really well? but also doesn't melt our processes. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've made a huge amount of videos like this that I know you'll love. So I'll pop a couple of interesting ones on this side for you. And if you want to hang around a little, a little longer, definitely get yourself subscribed, hit this blob on this side. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.